Hey guys, Chris Fix here. I'm here with the 2002 Chevy Trailblazer doing a brake job, which I'll show you how to do that in another how-to video. But I just want to give you an idea of how to check your suspension parts. Since you have everything apart, you might as well check everything out make sure your car is good. So what you have here is your knuckle, this metal piece here that holds on to the, uh, the hub and all the brake hardware. That's your knuckle. It's connected by a upper control arm at the top and a lower control arm at the bottom, which has hinges here and bushings. The bushings are the rubber inside there that prevents metal to metal contact. Same thing up here. You can see your bushing in there. And this is a double wishbone because it looks like two wishbones. So wishbone on top and wishbone on the bottom. At the end of your control arm, you have a ball joint. This allows movement when the car moves up and down because if this was solid, you'd have some binding. So we're gonna check your ball joint. There should be one at the top and one at the bottom. You have your strut and spring assembly, which is for your ride control, you know, so you don't bounce really hard. Then you have your sway bar coming in. This is actually a really thick sway bar on this car. Coming into an end link, which shouldn't move like that. And that attaches to the lower control arm of your vehicle. And what this does is it connects both your right and left side suspensions. A lot of the off-road guys have removable ones so that they could get a lot of flex in their car. And then you have your tie rod. This is your tie rod here. I have a how-to video on how to change that and uh, I'll put that up in the left-hand corner. And also down in the description you could just click on it. And what this does is it's for steering. So when you turn the steering wheel left and right, this will move the whole wheel right here. And then finally you have your drive axle. So as the car tire spins, this spins. So the first thing we're going to do is check the ball joints. What you want to do is have the tire on here and rock it left and right and up and down. To check the ball joints, you have your car lifted up in the air and you have your tire up off the ground. And what you do is you put your hands 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock and you shake in and out, left and right. And there's no play. That's good. You also want to grab it from 12 and 6 and shake in and out. Good, no play. If there's any movement at all, you definitely want to check your ball joints, tie rods, bushings, everything I'm going to show you how to do in this video. But we are good. There's no movement at all. If there's any play, then you want to check out the ball joint. You can see this ball joint has the rubber, which is all messed up, and it's all cracked and dry rotted. And in here is the ball joint. So this is going to have to get replaced just because it's all dry rod and everything. It's not important right now because it's solid. There's no play. But eventually this is going to ha have to get replaced. Now going to the bottom. Again, there's no play and there's no dry rot. You can see it's getting a little cracked, but that's not a big deal. They're all going to look like that after 130,000 miles. There is no greasable fitting on the top. Some cars have fittings on the top that you could put grease in. And if that's the case, then it's a good time to grease it right now. You just add grease with a grease gun. So the top ball joint is on its way out. The bottom ball joint is good. After we check ball joints, I remember checking the sway bar. The end link here, you can see. Look at all that play. This should have almost no play in it. It has play in and out, which is the worst play, and also tons of play side to side. In and out's the worst because the ball joint shouldn't move in and out. You should be able to move this back and forth, but not that easily though. The bottom's the same way. So this end link will have to get replaced soon. Not going to do it now, but it's definitely good to know. And now where the strut and spring assembly attaches down here, you want to give that a shake. I'm going to grab it from, from here and just shake it. And that's solid. And you can also look inside here and see that it's pretty good. The rubber looks intact. There's no movement in and out at all. And then the last thing we're going to do is check the tie rod. We're going to look at the rubber. The rubber looks good. Again, sometimes these have fittings on here that could be greased. Now's a good time to add some grease. And what you're going to do to test the tie rod is just shake it back and forth with your hand. And you can see this is not going anywhere. And the other thing you could do is just move it in and out. And if you want to check, you could pull the boot off and see if there's any grease or anything in there and also check on the condition of the inside tie rod end. So eventually we're going to have to change out this upper control arm ball joint and also the end link on the sway bar because there's way too much movement in here. And everything else looks good. 
Now we're going to go do the brakes on the other side, and I'll show you guys how to do that in another video. I'll leave that video up on the screen. You could click it. It'll also be in the description if you can't click on the screen. And give this video a thumbs up for a quick how to check your suspension parts. It's good to, to know how your suspension's doing. You could subscribe if you want to see more how-to videos. And also you could check out my Facebook and Twitter links in the description below. It'll give you updates if you use Facebook or Twitter.